Melusines are beautiful creatures. They are the pride of Fontaine. Be sure to befriend them and cause them no harm. Okay, uh, let's do some more quests. Let's see this one. Uh, research Institute. I think this is a continuation of the one. The main quest at the area as well. Let's see this. Maybe just a few lines of dialogue. Mm. Or maybe we'll run up with Seymour in and again. Mm. Where is particular? Oh. Oh, I never noticed that. Or did I? Did I move before? I don't remember. That looks like a nice surge. Oh, uh, this is the Narcissian Cross Ordo. Hmm, there are no longer any ceremonial items here, nor has there been a dispelling ritual conducted for a long time. Nonetheless, yeah, the familiar setting is still in my memory. This is the right place. Maybe there might be clues that we've overlooked, but you could spot off the bat. So, have found anything? All I see are the memories of a past and things that were that shall never again catch up to me. Does that count? Well, Pema doesn't want to interrupt your reminiscing, but that doesn't sound like what we're looking for. What were we looking for? I don't remember. Perhaps, but my past is inextricably intertwined with the Narcissus Cross Ordo, the chief culprit of a great of the great scene. As such, some of my memories may yet be helpful to you. Then, could you start telling us about them, Caterpillar? You... I should warn you that I was not in the inner circle several hundred years ago, so I don't know everything about the incident. But I was personally mentored by Narcissus Cross, who should be the origin of all this. Narcissus Cross, isn't that... There's a prophet lying dormant in all of us, and he, when he wakes, one more evil shall walk the world. That's the sort of person he is. Well, since we've got this opportunity, is there anything else you want to ask, Agnes? Tell me about yourself, Caterpillar. About me, I thought we got acquainted well enough during our jailbreak. But I understand that you are asking about something deeper. Now I shall perform a terrible feat that never been before, been done before and will never be done again. I will expose someone's true self before all without any facade or masks, and that someone shall be myself. Well, wow, that's really a lot. Paimon doesn't, doesn't, doesn't think she can lighten this atmosphere up at all. Uh, Lenoir has already gone home, did she not? We have to face a more complicated world now. Oh yeah, maybe check back on her. Uh, the time for things from under the age of 9 is over. Next, we probably need the experiences from age 16 or so. Uh, experience from 16 or so. The first voice I heard while in this body was that of Narcissa Cross. He, other than speaking of the redeeming powers of the holy place of Narcissus and Cross, he also preached thus. The body is just a shell. Even the body of a holy true can bear sentient consciousness. Did he create you then? Perhaps he did. I've tried to unravel my own origin, but the answers I got were all pretty vague. For you? Well, I don't really feel that way. 
I have discovered, after all, that most humans do not know the reason why they were born, and yet they still live happily. Also, it is not quite correct to say that he created me. How so? Creation is a fit for a god, if we may call the one above a god. In the tenets of Narcissian Cross, do you know what is the most critical what is most critical in creating someone? What is it? It's imagination. Imagining a person down to the last detail, akin to an oceanid imagining a creature in the wild. There's also there's a story that tells of a powerful mage priest imagining his own son, only to realize he himself was the product of someone else's imagination. Sorry for digressing, but I feel that this information is relevant to your questions. Well, that didn't make anything clear, but... Do you have any other questions? About the Nerds across Ordo? Since you find this place so familiar, what could you tell us about it? Actually, as I recall, most of the people in the Nerds across Ordo were very kind. Nerds across teachings just contain many radical ideas that were, perhaps, difficult for people to accept. That doesn't sound good at all. Narcissian Cross would lead ceremonies with the Holy Blade, in accordance with the ancient dictates. They call it the Trif Trifactor Excision. In Liyue, in Sumeru Shattering Atmagraha, he called it Renunciation of the Ego. He believes that one's own will is an obstacle and that accidentally receiving a vision while seeking the path is a guaranteed path to destruction. So after someone gives themselves up, what happens to them? Well, they stay quite normal actually. It is said that people cannot perceive the truth because a body with a self sees the world filter through the five senses. That doesn't sound so scary then. However, I never found out what Narcissus Cross's ultimate pur purpose for collecting all those wills and selves war was. Can you elaborate concerning Narcissus Cross? Another time, perhaps? There's so much to be said, I'll need time to process it at all. Do you have any other questions? About what happened all those years ago? Many years ago, the one called Lord Chipster, Guillotine, and Narcissus Cross had an intense clash. Guillotine was even called the White Cavalier of Protection back then. Is that a better title than Honor Knight? <laughs> now, if we're comparing impressive titles, I submit Chrysalis of the Phantasmic Moth. Uh, just what kind of weird title is that? The title that the Ordo gave me? See, I'm Caterpillar, a creature that turns into a chrysalis before completely metamorphosing into a butterfly. You said moth, not butterfly. Uh, sorry. I suppose the name contained the wings of hope that I would mature into a human. Even though we learn a lot, there are still more questions that we will need answers. I'll have to pour over the records and try to piece it all together, so I'm afraid I'll, you won't always find me here. Fontaine can be dangerous for you as it is now. He looks like a child, it's okay for him to just walk around. I'll disguise myself and rely on the methods I've developed to do what I must. I'll survive. And the same will return to the season cross over though. Good. But could I have gathered them here in any order? Negative danger. Danger. Activation. Activity by Narcissus across order. Remnants detected. Inus, Paimon, and N, please find a safe place immediately. Annihilation mode activated. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, Samer, calm down. This is. We meet again. What did. The White Cavalier of Protection say about you? Ah, uh, yes, this is my little invention. Are those robots supposed to be kind of a new thing around here? Affirmative, I am Garbo Mechanical Noises prototype with a large number of bolt design elements. 
Yeah, but if he's he's more than 400 years then. The priority level of this stuff has been downgraded. Please lay down your arms and surrender. Seymour, listen to me. I've already surrendered to you. Is that so? Yes, totally. Very well, in that case, we can continue to discuss my extraordinary design. I am Caterpillar, as you know. Speaking of which, how's the young lady you were protecting doing? Wait a moment. Why did I say something like that? What's wrong? You're correct. I am looking for the master I should protect, Ma Marianne. Or, as you might call her, Marianne Guillotine. Marianne Guillotine. Hmm. Mechanical noise, mechanical noise is slowly becoming clearer. Guillotine. Correct. My designer, Guillotine. Hmm. Caterpillar, is this your memories from 100 years ago? From hundreds of years ago? You know, getting clearer. No, this is a memory from before my birth. Something akin to an elephant recalling its previous lives while meditating. I think he actually means from before he was saint change. I do not understand. Previous lives do not exist. You couldn't know that. In this world. There may be. Not for you, at least. Thanks to you, it seems that I've encountered a potential breakthrough I had never imagined possible. Perhaps I might find the secret to my own birth, after all. Though I do not understand, I am glad to have been of service. Anyway, hello, Caterpillar, have we met? My memory is fading, so that is quite possible. If I may be so blunt, what is your relationship with the Red Empress? The Red Empress? I have no idea who that is, though the name kind of rings a bell. Then let me try another name. What is your relationship with Lyris? Lyris. Lyris. How do you know that name? I went through many adventures with Paimon and Ignus just to find out that she was merely a character in a story. Do I? Uh, I think I know what's going on. I'm also a victim of riddles, so I shouldn't play dumb. I'll tell you everything I know. Lyrus did indeed exist, she was an Ozenid as well, but was she red? And Narcissan Cross's name for her within the Order was the Red Empress. What's going on here? Shut up, just listen. Paimon feels like it's all connected. Still, when we first got here, Paimon couldn't help but notice. The clock here doesn't seem very accurate, does it? I don't know. I didn't pay attention to what time it was. Ah, that. Simply put, it's the Doomsday Clock. Doomsday Clock. When the clock strikes midnight, the apocalypse will come. For Fontaine, the prophecy. Is this part of the main quest? Uh, doesn't this mean that the end of the world is almost upon us? Uh, that really does take me back. When I was here before, they thought the apocalypse was too far away. And that thought, and that though it wouldn't happen in our generation, we should stop it for the sake of the future. The clock is accurate. And how they made the clock being accurate? Then it is not far off now. Perhaps we shall lay ourselves down to sleep tonight, and the sun shall not rise in the morn. Perhaps the sea shall evaporate tomorrow. Wouldn't that be a bit good, because the problem they're having there is that it's rising. Uh, or perhaps we are already living in the apocalypse, and the good times have long ended. Hey, get serious, will the apocalypse really come? First, what we see is just a clock, not the apocalypse itself. When it comes down to it, time is merely a tool humans use to measure changes in all forms of matter. Narcissus Cross was the one who used the word formula to calculate the beginning of the end and build this device. As such, I cannot answer your question, dear Paimon, because this is all it is, a clock. That's true. Anyway, let's share our findings. You and Paimon briefly share all that happened with the other three people, though so, technically speaking, none of them are human. 
Oh, there are people. Uh, input logged. Elena, technically speaking, Paimon is a human as well. He may not be human as well. Uh, did you think of something? I don't know. I'm not sure. It's like water boiling off into gas. I can't see it and I can't quite grasp it either. Can we boil? Uh, can also needs change uh, states? Oh, any thoughts or leads, Caterpillar? Uh, I can't say that I don't, but I'm still trying to sort some things out. So let's discuss this later. Alright, I keep forgetting to ask you something. Lino Spymo, I'm very grateful for everything you've done for Lenoir. So, is there anything that I can help you with? Uh, do you mean anything? Just like making a wish? Uh, it should be something within the scope of my abilities, of course. Uh, you did free Lenoir and I from prison, but I'm no gin in a bottle. So, what do you wish? Would you or wish it be Paimo? Uh, if that's the case, then Mora, no wait, yummy food. Uh, there's so much that Pemo wants, but we've been having lots of fun traveling together, so we don't really need anything special. Secret Pillar, could you help us help Anne and Seymour? Uh, I would like to have him on my party. Pemo, you know what do you think? Is that a good wish? It's all good. They'll do, Pemo, they'll do. I understand, then let us work together. Yeah. Understood. Now I plan to work with Samer and Anne to see if we can use our experiences and the information available here to figure something new out. And you know, let's meet back here later. Later when? Do I wait a day? Do I have to log in another day? And he has like to talk about about the current situation. It's nice that this place is so lively again after several centuries. Just joking, I think there's a purpose to all this. I mean, to us gathering like this, it's probably foolish to treat it as a simple sheer coincidence. No, we're just really noisy, no nosy. So we kind of meet everybody. Our encounter has to be a moment of a kind of. Of beginning, I came to the uh, repressed seeds struggling before truly germinating. But on the other hand, before the actual apocalypse arrives, just who will try to find meaning in absurdity and be convinced that those signs herald that inevitable solemn moment? Other than a certain cross, whom I used to call master, regardless, he deserves to be called a grandmaster. Just like our paths cross here under the doomsday clock, if we follow along the woven path together, maybe we can... I should save the rest of that thought for the end of the journey. Don't you know more about you, Caterpillar? What else is there to say about myself? I often feel mutually exclusive elements in the nature of my existence. Individually, they are pure, but also alien to each other. Therefore, when they interact, they mix with the other and become impure. Can you understand that? My own identity is not consistent. Sometimes I am a bloom guard. And other times a dragon. My identity is a lie built out of the stories of others. But I believe a definitive answer exists. A singular correct answer. As the hands on a clock move again, I'm ready to take that step. Uh, I should know more about Lanoir. Our time together was very short, but I never thought I'd be so committed to playing the role of a protector for her. It was indeed a very novel experience. Perhaps I was attracted by her purity because of that's a quality I would never possess. Yet the fortress of Mirapid is what kept her innocent, somewhere she shouldn't have been in the first place. To give her an opportunity to choose the right to choose must be first stripped from her. But whenever I think about of how, whenever I think of how now the mundane world has finally entered her heart. Uh, oh, 
we talk later. So here in two, it's time for us to set out. And that would be... Timer. Calculating process halted. What are instructions, Mr. Inus, about the current situation? So communication with any Deosanid and former Narcissus across or domain member Caterpillar. Some promising information has been obtained. I am prototype for a CV07 designed by Guillotine to accompany and protect my master, Miss Marianne. Unfortunately, no additional information on Miss Marianne is currently available. Moreover, Andy Ocenid was able to provide very little information. The remaining member of the Narcissus Cross Ordo, Caterpillar, did not provide complete information. More time is required for analysis. Want to know more about you, Seymour? I am prototype of one, designed by Gilead Change Company to protect Mr. Master. I am equipped with the most advanced memory storage unit, logic unit, optics, and various functional modules from the Fountain Institute of Natural Philosophy. Uh, hang on, is that... That's not the same name of the Engineering Institute. Was that the name of the old one that Gilead Change was in charge. Uh, this allows me to keep a log of Miss Mary Ann's daily life and also act as an uh, agent's assistant. My present top priority is to locate Miss Mary Ann and ensure her safety. Does he realize that she should be dead for many centuries now? I want to know more about Mary Ann. The purpose of my design and creation is to serve and protect my owner, Miss Mary Ann. My present operation is still interesting. I and also need to exhibit certain behaviors identical to the past behaviors of Miss Marianne. But the factors comprising them, loud mechanical noises, loud mechanical noises. Note, regular record space collation can decrease the frequency of such issues effectively. Uh, no, just, just get the, the last one. Oh, nothing, bye. Affirmative, have a nice day. Marianne was... Hmm. Marianne, no, just Anne. Now, Enos, about the current situation. I believe I recall certain... some very vague feelings. I'm not sure they can even be called memories. Though I don't know whether humans keep their memories in their heads or in their heart. But also, Anne seem to have neither a brain nor heart, just water. If only I could be like that silly dog, just sit there and mumble stuff like drive the fragmenting to recall everything. I want to know more about you. I don't know what else I can tell you. I'm the part of Marianne that was imagined into being here, but, but she rejected me and the others as well, I mean other existences. The Princess Lyris I want to rescue does not exist. Marianne is also not Marianne and isn't that silly dog's owner? Isn't she? Okay, that Marianne. Not this Marianne. Uh, I don't know why, but when I see that silly dog, something just swells inside of me. It feels like bubbles, but they burst whenever I get close to remembering. Caterpillar seems to know something, but he won't say much if he's not 100% sure. We came to the place with Narcissus Cross in its name, yet nothing was resolved. Uh, about Princess Lyris. Princess Lyris is kind of courageous. That's why she endangered herself in order to protect her friends. Before, all I thought was that I must have been a friend of hers and she protected me. So now that she's in trouble, I have to save her. Even though she might not want me to do that, because she's too nice, and would rather suffer than let her friends be in danger. But I don't, if I don't save her, how could I be worth of being her friend and deserve her protection? Memories, they're hazy, like whirlpools in water. Emotions and desires, on the other hand, feel so real. Despite me realizing she's just a character in the story now. It's alright, just go to bed. Okay, good night, Mr. Night Ingus. Mm.
Can we do something to move that? Ah, oh, therefore, okay. Maybe I'm missing one more person. <laughs> and then we'll be done. Yeah, but who? Okay, I think we're done here for now. Uh, let's just check on... Lanor. See if she mentions anything new about Caterpillar. Not that his quest advanced. Then we'll check the letter. That I don't even know where I got it. Okay, not playing with dogs. Ah, they're sitting there. No, oh, where is she? Huh? If oh. only I'd read that letter sooner. <laughs> what? It's getting late, you should get some rest too. Oh, Agnes. If she hadn't been so stubborn. Oh yeah, he had a letter from her, but I think he never re read it. I think. I mean, so stubborn. It's my fault. I was the one who was too stubborn. I am stolen hearted old fool. But according to Lanoir, she smiled at everyone, even to the very end. Bon Lanoir. That child, she's just like her mother, spirited and independent. Children grow up so quickly. What can I say? I just hope that she can live the life she wants. Health and happiness are more important than anything else. But what a, where is she? Is it because it's late? Good night. Good night, children, sweet dreams. Ah, there she is. Okay, it's because it was late. Let me check that. There are a few open letters on the table. Oh, read the first letter. Dear Earnshaw, sorry for being unable to contact you for so long. For various reasons, I moved to the fortress of Merapis and have been living here for quite some time now. Dear Earnshaw, oh, it's weird to refer to her father like that. Life here isn't so bad though. Though the Texas Rago isn't as good as it is back home, and I don't have the company of any cute animals. But I have something even more precious in my life now. Speaking of which, I may be able to return home fairly soon. If the door is still open for me to return, please write me back. Even one sentence you do, just telling me how you're doing. Oh. Second letter. You didn't write back. Are you still angry? Dad, listen to me. Don't be mad. Why punish yourself for someone else's mistake? Look, I'm the one at fault here. I know I made mistakes, but that's all in the past now. We can have a fresh start. My chronic illness has been flaring up again recently. Nothing like being unwell to make you appreciate the joys of being in good health. Huh? I hope all is well with you. If you really don't want to tell me how you've been doing, could you, could you at least tell me about Prince, Princess and Hero? Are they doing okay? I look forward to your response. The third letter. Uh, you're really a stubborn one that I have some news I was planning to share with you when we saw each other But I decided to go ahead and tell you now The precious thing in my life I mentioned her name is Lenoir and she's absolutely lovely She's like a little flower sprouting out of, out of a crack in the rock Determined to grow even in the absence of sunlight or rain I like to bring her home I just know you adore her even if her door is close to me, at the very least, please open it for her. Even if just a crack, just to see her. After that, I'll bring her to the Court of Fontaine. I'm going to work hard. She still hasn't had a good look at this world, so once we leave the Fortress of Merapis, I'm going to give her all the sunlight the world, the world has to offer. Let's won't, if, won't let me write too much, so I'll leave it at that for now. Wishing you well. Uh, it's too bad Carter is in here. If he was, he could enjoy this with us too. 
Amy Carter was here. She wouldn't be allowed to drink any more fun that you Ah, this is the same as that was before. Say you had to share with others in, to be even more happy. Sure, Carter said not to have too much sugar and to brush your teeth after eating. No, he didn't mention that. Hmm. The problem is that people probably won't grow in this game. But it would be nice to for her to set out exploring the world and meet up with him again. Hang on, let me just read that again. What is you me, you know, again the font a letter. Ah, okay, I thought I got a letter, but no, I'm just probably gonna get a letter there to deliver or something. All right. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, just like I stressed before, there gets on there. That's how the procedure goes, and there's nothing I can do, Mister. Royals, Royals, did see, send the list of required documents, and I have to, and I do have them ready. However, you can simply come over and take in documents that does not conform to our letter delivery regulations. Uh, y'all. Ah, that guy. Uh, I didn't remember him by name. Then I'll fly you over here with you later. Hi, y'all. You're looking good. You as well. It's all thanks to the help I received from Mr. Royal and Simon. Oh, okay, yeah. Damn, I didn't remember their names as well. You know, Ignus too, Yon. Of course, Ignus did me a huge favor before. Without him, I wouldn't still be working at the Mason Guest Show. Really? No wonder Ignus is an honorary senior researcher of the Institute. I'm very good at providing moral support. All I do is fix the auto steam for 3000. Regardless, without your support, I'm sure I couldn't have made it. I believe I heard Mr. Choice so call you an honorary senior researcher for the Institute just now. Bingo, I even have the certificate. And a photo, Paimon's in it too, but Paimon didn't get a certificate. Yes, in recognition of Vincent's merits and achievements, the Institute has granted him the title of Honorary Senior Researcher. As for those achievements, are, I'll let him speak for himself. Let's talk business first. I really cannot hand the document to you right now, Jon. But as for what you asked earlier, that you like a researcher to guide you over and take some pictures near the institute, that's no problem at all. I think Inus might be suited for, to do the job, he knows the surrounding like the back of his hand and he shall be more than equal to the task. Not the same Mr. Inus, no problem, leave to it, I'm happy to help you on out. You're so kind, as long as you're there, it should be fine. When I came, all I saw were out of control mecha and monsters. But taking pictures isn't the priority here. Truth be told, Mr. Choi So. I'd love to help you, Chu Yon, but the procedure is a procedure and my hands are tight. Please don't make it hard on a lowly public of official who only knows how to stamp documents. Alright, I'll discuss this with Mr. Royalty later. Uh, after I return. Goodbye, Mr. Choi So. Have a nice day. Thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoy your time in the Fountain Research Institute. It's your turn to be the guy now, Ignus. Why don't we go? Uh, why don't we go to the Mary Yen Memorial Park first? That sounds important. Do I have something like that named on the map? No. I see. Ramondo is still back yet. What is he up to? Is he up there? Maybe that would be the last piece I needed for the quest. 
Next to the control as I noticed this one's arrived. Even though the long route just bypassed them. Uh for the research is to just letting them run. This is order. And shroud! Bow your head. Uh, is this the Maryam Memorial Park? I can't see. I can't tell it's a park at all. Mr. Raj will be disappointed. He was hoping to have someone make speech here. Looking around, a speech is out of the question. There's not even an iconic landmark here. Uh, it's not good for group photos. You can think, take some Mac back with you as memento. You're funny, but there's no room in the Mason Gaston for such things. And even if I could, I still have to have the mech appraised, reported, categorized, and stored. Uh, we're only joking, no need to get so focused on work all of a sudden. Speaking of reports, I still can't get that document. Mr. Roach will be disappointed again. It's also making it difficult for you. Or were you and to also discuss back there? As you may know, the institute is making plans to, re to rebuild, right? Certain resources and personal arrangements have to be made through the Mason Gaston. The Mason Gaston takes this matter very seriously, so it had Mr. Royal select a team to conduct field studies in and around the vicinity. Therefore, Mr. Royal stay behind at the Mason Gaston to do the head count, while I am to visit the institute to coordinate the reception. It happens that the institute has a letter for the Mason Gaston, so though, so I thought since I'm here already, I might as well bring it back with me. But Mr. Shoso insisted that it was a violation of proper procedure and simply would not give it to me. Violation of procedure? What procedure? There are proper procedures for picking up documents. Uh, don't tell Paimon there's going to be running around for approval signatures and listening to bureaucrats babble on endlessly as well. Simply put, most, officials correspond, most official correspondence within the Maison Gaston must be mailed. What then? What if the departments mailing the letter are, the, are on the same street, or even right across from each other? Yes, you still have to mail it. That's for the purpose of being traceable. Gashioners sure aren't afraid of work. I suppose everyone is just used to it all by now. Never mind. Let's just go to the next spot. Let me check the memo Mr. Rose left for me. Uh, this place is called the Institute, Ac Institute Academic Assembly Hall. Strange. I didn't see any buildings with such sign when I came. I know where it is. Just follow me. I knew I could depend on you. What would I do without you? Let's hurry then. There may be more out of control mech around here. We can just defeat them all. Uh, those didn't drop anything. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, this looks like the inside of a building that was broken. How is that a memorial? Uh, uh, yeah, I still haven't fought this one here yet. And I don't think I have the... Uh, the crystals. Uh, is this the academic assembly hall? I admit the structure does look like a hall, but what's academic about it? The academic part is in the researchers' heads. The rocks aren't academic, that's for sure. The researchers' heads. Alright, good thing I didn't come for anything academic today. Anyway, the buildings the building seems relatively intact. Intact is all it has left. Uh, uh, come on, uh, let's look around. I think this place is perfect for a group photo. I should go find a good vantage point, so I won't be a complete 
I won't be at a complete loss if Mr. Rose grills me. Please take a few pictures for me too, Venus. Oh, I heard you're a good photographer. Certainly better than me. I got this. He vanished. This one isn't bad. Have you finished taking pictures? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, I have it. Almost. Once they're done, please show them to me. Do I have any resin here? No, I'm not spinning that one. So, yeah, I won't fight it. Uh, isn't there usually a prompt? No, no, not the main. The main is just... Uh, Close the thing, yes, then simply home. Who knows how y'all will use it. Oh my, too high, far too high. Are you describing the institute's academic level? No, I'm marveling at the height of this place. Though the institute's academics are certainly up, up there too. But now, who could have foreseen so many hardships for the institute? And who knows how smooth the reconstruction will be. The last stop is the Fountain Research Institute Qualifications Review Representative Office. All in one breath, impressive. Thank you, but where is it? I didn't notice any such office in the Institute. Is Desnos in charge of the office? Yes, that's right. You know, even this place, I shouldn't be surprised that the ordinary senior researcher knows everything about the Institute. I didn't remember that name, but I remember who Tessos is. I'll pay my members now. Is it that office in the ruins? If you can count that as an office. Maybe Mr. Desmond shortened the name to make it easy for you to understand. Please lead the way. I have to get some files from Mr. Desmond too. Once I have them, I can return to the Maison Gesture. It's been such an uneventful day today. I should be able to go back and relax soon. The Fountain Research Institute sure does things differently from... Uh, I didn't say a thing. No, but they made me sign a bunch of paper. Uh, oh, Archon, save me. May no more mecha cause me trouble. What are you doing here, Yon? Uh, Mr. Royalty has sent me here to conduct an inspection, so I thought I'd drop by and bring you some coffee. But I had to say that your working environment is indeed quite difficult. I thought this coffee, this office, would at least have an actual room. Thank you for it. the coffee, my dear Yon. As for the work environment, I'm content with what I have. Look around. At least I'm working under an intact ceiling. Are you still in charge of the qualifications review? Enos, no. I should call you honorary senior researcher. Let's see you. And uh, what's the cell look on? Uh, it's like this. A long face on recounts all that has happened. Hmm, is this is the correspondence some sort of classified document? It can be. Replies like these are typically in the vein of got it. I have no question. I don't know. Or something similar. And most it's copied to different departments to let them know it's something they should care about. Uh, no wonder I got a copy of the letter too. Have a look. Is this it? What? 
but Mr. Shows said clearly he hadn't made it yet. Oh, he must have meant that the external letters have been sent out yet. Once more, he failed to tell the whole story. People from the Institute are really good at getting under their skin, huh? Judging from your reaction, this must be the document you, you wanted. Uh, I read it several times already myself. It is identical to the document you wanted. How, how do you know? We didn't see the document you wanted. There are still Ignos. I'm sure all the letters that Choso sent out are the same, y'all. Why don't you just take my copy back with you? Wait, what? If one takes it, then won't you have lost yours? Uh, look at me, nobody will care if someone in my position accidentally loses a nonsense show, non essential letter. Not a bad idea. That does solve the problem, doesn't it? Say on, I'm not just mooching coffee for you. No, monsieur, I cannot do that. It's against regulations. I'll go back and wait for the official letter to be delivered. My dear Yon, think outside the box, don't be a fool. Why must you insist on making it hard for yourself? Who knows when the letter will even get to you? Uh, the sooner you get it, the sooner you can start working and settle all the that mess. No, monsieur. Thank you, but I will not violate regulations. My duty as a civil servant demands it. Enos, Mr. Desnos, and Paimo, I must leave now. Mr. Royalty is still waiting for me to report back. Yon walks away with solemn heavy steps. Uh, Yon can be such a fool, his brains have gone all rotten, haven't they? Everyone else tries to make things easier for themselves, yet he insists on going through the motions, even for small things like this. That's just his character, that's just a person Yon is. Ad admirable, yet scary at the same time. No wonder he has few friends in the Maison Gashon other than royalty and Semaine. I'm his friend too. But we are not a friend in the Maison. Uh, so is Paimon, so is Paimon. That's good, you should be around him more often. I feel Yon's nerves are getting more and more frayed by the day. As for the letter, I'll see what I can do. I'll pay Mr. Shoso a visit and ask him to let me mail them out. If he agrees, I'll send them one to Yon as quickly as possible. Uh, it takes a lot of effort to be friends with a fool. <laughs> And that's it. Uh, when we start working the install again, I should work in here. I'll let you work. Okay, just that. Okay, now there's the quest. And there's some other quests are mark I marked around. What's that? Ah, the shop. Oh, yeah, let's take a look down here, see if there's anything else. There shouldn't be. I hope there isn't another huge quest down here. Well, let's just walk around to see if anything. No, I won't walk around. I just go to this. No. To each main area and check if there's. Ah, oh, it's down there. Check if there's anything worthwhile anything popping up <laughs> our room has nothing no okay other place I'll just check there's exclamation <laughs> on the on the mini map No push here. No quest here. No. To the part down there. Back here through the entrance. Uh, 
Where is it? Man, that's high. Um. There's no, there's no little part there. There's no little part. Uh, ah, yeah, this is a nice area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the board woman over here could have some main quest for us. And here's the elevator. Yeah, well, let's get back there. Check around the cafeteria. Check crack bones. Check the pancreation. Okay. Speaking of which, we'd like to try and hit a pancreation. Yeah. Why don't ask about how to participate? Yeah. Okay, there's a quest around here. Yeah, but wasn't that close to it. Mm, let's check here first, since I'm close. Dirty face. Can't find a complaint to him. So, have a few friends. Oh, I got the fortune of Mirapid. I actually like living here when I was trying to live a life with my days and nights all topsy turvy, sleepless nights, the spirits and listless during the day. But ever since I arrived at the Fortress of Mirapid, I've led a regular and healthy life. If you have had similar issues, I recommend stay a while longer. Ah, Fonta. Right here, about SN's game, heard an interesting rumor. Same game, congratulations on winning. Now that I think of it, I never even saw Caterpillar that much. I didn't know he had that many coupons. I'm jealous, if only I had that many. I treat everyone in the entire fortress through the new flavors of Fonte. No, I pay everyone's wages for a day and give them all a holiday. And maybe I sponsor an invocation tournament. Oh, how can I choose between such good ideas? Oh, why would I even have to choose? I can do them all. You don't have that many coupons. Okay, let's check the writing bone. Oh yeah, let's see if we have anything new to sell now. It's not outside the quest. Ah, now do our negotiation. There was somebody. Ah, I think there was somebody in the institute mentioned. Ah, maybe one day donated books. I must on the signs of success. This masterpiece written by a true genius is absolute must read. An exceptional book, emphatically recommended by. The Astro Lagutier, Titans of the Business World, and researchers of the Fountain Research Institute it will impart deep insights and understanding in the abyss of human nature. A truly incomparable contribution to the science art of success. Which have you here? Oh, now I have plenty of coupons. None that I'll ever read it, like all the other books. Pure water. Hmm. So the legacy of a genius potioner, it can draw on the pure strain from within one's body. <laughs> Wait, what? Are no good. Oh! Ah, that's a. Come on, it should be marked as a quest. I didn't. Uh, people often say I've got. How long is this? Oh, that's long. People always say I've got a good head for business and I'm good at spotting and taking advantage of opportunities. Personally, I don't think of it like that. I think we make our own opportunities. I started from nothing with not a moral to my name. I had nothing to rely on by myself. My ability to negotiate and persuade those better off to work with me. That's how I create my opportunities through negotiation. And all my experiences have taught me that the ability to negotiate can solve almost any problem. That's what I've always counted on. So I hope you won't follow the path I describe. 
Huh? So I hope you won't follow the path I described, as that will only make the world more difficult for me to succeed in. So why would you write the book? Gain the initiative. I think the outcome of most negotiations can be determined from the outset. Everyone knows. Everyone who knows me knows that. I used to be an itinerant desert trader, which is how I got my start. I had no money, no experience, but I learned something very important out there. I always speak loudly and make people think you are confident. The desert is hostile to outsiders. The locals there will only deal with those they trust. They are scared of outsiders, or rather, maybe they are scared of being cheated. So why would they trade with me, some penniless kid with no background? But later I realized that the rejection from of outsiders was only a symptom. So what was the underlying cause? It's because they can't be sure of the quality of products that come from outside. So obviously you need to provide comp compelling proof of the quality of your goods to win their trust or make them think you have a compelling proof at least. Now how do you do how do you do make them think that? It's all on how confidently you talk. Even if it's just bravado. As long as you act confident, people will assume you have a reason for the confidence and they'll talk themselves into trusting you. So I hawk on my goods loud and proud. I use my imposing manner to overpower them, beating them down until they started to wonder why I dare talk like that. Well, it had to be because I had plenty of buyers who and didn't care if they made a purchase or not, right? Which meant I had to have a good reputation for selling quality goods. That meant they couldn't go wrong buying them. And you all know what happened next. I made my first fortune. Looking back, I feel that negotiation is all about convincing the other party to agree with or accept whatever you're telling them. If you gain the initiative by showing your strength and overwhelm your opponent with an imposing manner, they'll be convinced and that brings our goals within easy reach, doesn't it? Steer the conversation. I find steering the conversation to be a very effective negotiation technique and reliable way of getting out of difficult situation once you wanted to try to sell goods from Monster in Liwe. But my customers didn't know anything about Monster. They were just ordinary folk who never set foot outside Liu in their lives. For them, buying goods from some unknown place was a huge risk, so sales were understandably poor. And as you can imagine, my investor was losing faith. Now, that might sound like a turning problem, but the solution was simple. I had to talk to my customers about what a great place Monsat is, making them curious about it, or even trusting. Uh, and that trust would transfer to my goods and convert into sales. And what about my investor? That was even easier. He lacked faith, so I gave him some. I convinced him sales would be good. And of course, it doesn't really matter if sales really are good or not. Once you identify the root cause of the problem, the solution will become apparent. Uh, but I couldn't be too obvious about it. I carried out a market research survey with a moral reward for anyone who filled in a questionnaire. Everyone was cla clamoring to fill one in, in once they heard the, the sound of moral. Now you might be wondering what this has to do with the negotiation. I can't answer that. The most powerful weapon in negotiation is the truth and the truth can be manipulated. The questionnaire looks like market research, but it was actually guiding everyone toward the conclusion I wanted them to reach. So here's what happens. I planted some leading questions in the survey. For example, I felt most of it is known for its freedom. In Lewis citizens, while Lewis citizens largely desire leisurely and happy lives. Thus, the conclusion I wanted people to reach was that those two things are mutually complementary. So I ask questions like this. Do you like do you like a relaxed and leisurely life? Do you like an atmosphere of freedom? Do fine wines enjoy help enjoy a happy life? And so on. Most people would answer such questions with in the affirmative. Next, we use the survey to ask the, if they like free and happy cities such as, as the city of Mostad. And naturally most people answer yes. With that, we created the impression that everyone in Mostad is happy. That gave me an 
an image to leverage in my sales. I wasn't selling goods now, I was selling a lifestyle, a lifestyle of happiness. And obviously, you can all imagine how successful I was. Of course, you will always run into contrary types who insist on singing a different tune. Those responses can influence the data from the survey and cause undue concern to the people who see those numbers. My investor, for example. I had to eliminate that, or at least reduce it. And I did so in a rather crude way. I hinted to the participants that the moral reward would be depending on their answers. Money is enough of a temptation to convince most of the counter types to compromise. That meant I had clear, clear, not cleaner data, which I could use to bolster my investors' faith. And that meant it was time for the next part of my plan, the universal formula. People often ask me if there are any unbeatable negotiation techniques that can be used in any situation. Tell them there is one. It is to begin your answer like answers like this. I agree with your views, but I call this the universal formula for no other reason than that it analyzes and uses human nature. It lays bare our weakness. Weaknesses. Why? Because we crave approval, nobody can do without it, myself included. I used to be an itinerant trader traveling all over. I met all kinds of people back then, their air mines, treasure hoarders, and even the abyss order. All then, even the abyss mages, known for their stubbornness and mischief making, would con reconsider their views and seek my approval after I used that line. I would even dare to say that if I could speak the language of slimes or rituals, they too would fall under the spell of the magic trick. So I would hate for everyone to know it, especially my competitors. Hearts and negotiation, even the title is boring, but I'm not interested in that. Uh, it's just a coach. There's a, a note here. Uh, go to the registration counter at the front desk to participate in the Coupon Cafeteria's internal satisfaction survey for a chance to win coupon rewards. Where else can I spend coupons now? Oh yeah, at the cafeteria. Uh, I think there was uh, some food, uh, some recipe I could buy there. Coupons, well, see this. We can get coupons, but we didn't expect something this good at all. Let's go. Design has been served by someone can be purchased. Uh, how how do I Huh? I didn't get them all? I got just one. Um Can I place an order? To take orders? Depends on who's ordering what. You understand that I came completely frank with you. But how do I get those? Maybe just have to pass quests. Pass pancreation to get the pancreation uh, card. Okay, let, let's do this quest before the... There. Before the pancreation. The research counter at the front desk. This is it. Let's try our luck. Registration crown. We used the registration counter up there, didn't we? Hello, Miss Monglane. Oh, well, she doesn't look like she's easy to get along with. Maybe the art of negoci negotiation will work. That's right, we've got this book. I knew it would come in handy here. Let's see, found it. If you gain the initiative by showing your strength and overwhelm your opponent with an imposing manner, this is it, overwhelm the opponent by being imposing. Paimon gets it, Paimon just has to be louder, right? Hey, Miss Monglane, hello. I heard you, what can I do for you? Uh, it really worked. <laughs> uh, we're here for the satisfaction survey, Miss Monglane. Uh, Paimon means to say that she's here to accompany him. Why? Don't worry, we have this book, Paimon will sneak peeks at the book and tell you what to do. 
Anyway, yeah, just listen to Paimon. Another one saw the notes in the books. There are other books? Uh, yeah, that's right. Just how many were? Actually, forget it. It's fine. Please wait a moment. Allow me to explain the rules. The survey has a total of five questions. Please answer them quickly and intuitively. Remember, you must answer them quickly. Do you understand? We can begin once you're ready. Will I have time limit? Please give me a moment. We're ready. Whoa, wait, Paimon is still flipping through the book. Very good, let's hurry up and begin then. Paimon is right now, do your worst. Question 1. Do you think it's reasonable to maintain the prices for the food in the Kobo cafeteria at the current, current low level? Uh, how to answer this? Let me look it up. Found it. Let's try the universal formula. According to book and good views, but can be used in any situation. Even Abismay Mage will be willing to respond for saving. Sounds amazing. Reasonable. Paimo quite like Unreasonable. Uh, I want the prices to be raised. I don't know, it didn't really go well last time I just agreed with Paimon. Mm, I agree with her views, she didn't give me her views, she just asked a question that had nothing to do with her, she, with her opinions or anything. Reasonable. Paimon quite likes it. I want to touch the horrible stuff, even if it was free. We have? But what if our food budget runs out? Let me put it like that. No, I would rather starve. Excuse me? Uh, according to the rules, the survey must be answered quickly. Let's move on to the next question. Fine, rules are rules. Question number two is adequate uh, food available during dining hours at the coupon cafeteria? Yeah, she didn't ask about the quality of the food, just the price before. Okay. That's kind of food, but it just says awful. Yeah, it's it has more meat than than grows on all the that. Not enough. If it was, it doesn't get you with any. Angry reviews, but uh hang on, what was exactly the the question? Um, was the qual uh, she asked if the quality was good. <sighs> but we'd rather just eat meat directly. Really? Then you can have meat salad today. No, Pam doesn't want either of those. Uh Pam wants to eat them. Anyway, can you get back to survey or just put the on as a yes? Uh so turn, let's move to the next question. Before I move on to the third question, I'd like to remind you that the survey requires to answer quickly, so... Now for the next question... Do you think the current randomized meal system is interesting? No. Pay more attention to the taste. I agree with your views, but... Doesn't randomized meals create the feeling of a pleasant surprise? And not knowing what you get next? That's true, when you put it like that, it does sound really interesting, Paimon. Well, Miss Mongolia made a lot of sense. It's very difficult to disagree. Uh, please. Okay, I'm going to go with what he, she did. It's interesting, including the fortune slips. Not interesting because I can eat what I want to. Good reviews, but. It would be great if you got a complimentary delicious meal every 18 meals. Why 18? I haven't heard that from someone. We did? It wasn't like um, because there's three meals each day and there are. Six days before Sunday, that makes 18 meals in six days. So, there will be delicious food on the seventh day, and you'll be in a good mood every week. Question number four. Do you think it's reasonable to sell addictive foods in the Copa Cafeteria? Uh, why is she suddenly speaking faster? Is she? Gain initiative. Start the conversation. No, no. No, no. This seems to be correct. Maybe we should go back to the universal formula. So this is during the conversation. That's not quite right. These questions. No, it's during the conversation. She's during the conversation. Please not our thing or engage in idle chatter. As I mentioned previously, please answer it quickly and intuitively. 
I don't remember. I agree with your views, but... Alright, thank you for feedback. Now it's time for the final question. Did you just completely ignore us? Our answer is not important at all. Based on your answers just provided, are you satisfied with the current state of the coupon cafeteria? Uh, what were they again? Paimon can remember of them. It's so, alright, I'll just write down that you're satisfied. Okay, but something doesn't feel quite right. I should probably mention that you not receive any coupons if you're, you answer no. That's way over the line. Then what about you, sir? Don't ignore Paimon. Uh, no, I'm not satisfied at all. Wait, no. Uh, write down that we are satisfied. If it's just for the coupons. We don't need the coupons. You're satisfied, huh? Understood. You are well. Thank you for cooperation. Your support is our motivation to improve. Please sign here to claim your coupons. The intelligent flying clockwork device by your side can sign for coupons too. Uh, Paimon gets some too, but Paimon didn't even participate. Is that really okay? Wait, Paimon is Paimon, not some intelligent flying clockwork device? Very well, anyway, respect our input, so everybody, uh, all people in Mecha are eligible. You should hear Paimon. Paimon is not a flying clockwork device. Paimon is Paimon, don't ignore Paimon. Understood? Anyway, in order to help save your precious time, I can fill in the survey for you. Don't worry, the number of coupons you receive won't change. I'm sure you'll be answering satisfactory to every question, right? Yes, coupons. In that case, just sign here and leave the rest to me. Cool, this way you'll get the coupons and save the trouble. Thanks, Miss Mongling. Thank you for your support. Please take your coupons and we hope you'll participate in the next survey. After getting the coupons, my will be far out to Miss Mongling. No, I want to answer no. In retrospect, Miss Mongling didn't really care at all about our responses. The problem is the questions themselves. Yeah, you're right. The questionnaire really was weird, and Miss Mongling seemed so exhausted. The art and negotiation failed for us, not for her. Our negotiation shaw. Books like that are all completely useless after all. You're right, the book's the problem. Nope, the problem is with Paimon. I agree with you, but... Hey, don't you go mocking Paimon now. Uh, though some art of negotiation, it really was totally useless after all. What was the point? Hello? I have a few questions. Either question or whatever they are in this form, once categorized. Oh, yeah. I... Can you just answer them now? Get terminal or not? Yeah. Uh, who's the guy who wrote the book? Was it maybe you? Uh, what do you sell? Yeah, recipes. Hmm. Yeah, oh. Cook all of those. Okay, so now plan creation. Uh, oh, hang on, there was another room. I need to check. Uh, I did check all the rooms there. That just leaves me outside. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go to punctuation. Then, then I'll check uh, the main office in the middle. Hey, this one is red. Aren't the other ones blue? Surely the audience will be <laughs> What should we do for our uh, <laughs> There's no change when I enable them.
Uh, uh, you're changing faith, right? What brings you here? Well, I'm here to do some pancreation, but what are you doing here? You aren't hoping to sign up too, are you? Uh, I know you too. Sorry, the blonde one can't participate. What? Discrimination? <laughs> I never said I want to take part. Uh, that was worded a little misleading. I think uh, the remain that Inus specifically is banned from taking part. No, not blondes as an entire category, correct? Uh, because I'm blonde and you let me sign up. Uh, let me put it this way. Pancreation match is a spectator sport. Entertaining the audience is more important than who wins and who loses. I heard all about your past deeds. If you let Ignus enter the ring, the outcome of the outcome is a foregone conclusion, and all the anticipation is removed from the equation. No one wants to watch a match with a predictable out outcome. If I let you take part, I might as well hand you the trophy right now and save everyone the trouble. Sounds like a plan. Hand it over. Uh, how about I? <laughs> it's only one hand fight. In that case, if I can fight on my behalf, one hand. Uh, that might spice things up a little, but no, I don't think that'll work. Uh, what if you actually win the tournament with one hand? You would set the bar too high for future, future tournaments. I know I say the third aiming's value is key, but we also have to be careful to manage the audience expectations. How about I let Inus join as a coach? You can coach her. I usually beat people. Beat people up when I'm teaching them how to fight. Uh, the strongest coach paired with the weakest contestant. Yeah, that should be a nice gimmick. Nice touch, I mean, for the audience. Also, although it's mostly for fun, there's a pretty generous, generous prize for the winner. All thanks to her colleague, or should I say former colleague. In the winning team, we receive credit coupons as well as fantastic Fonda trophy. Huh. Show it at the Fountain Research Institute and can drink all the Fonta you like for free. At the Fonta machine? An endless supply of free Fonta? Ignus Paimon wants that. Well, Ignus is willing to coach me and pour it to victor victory. I'd be more than happy to give you the trophy. Are you sure? You're really willing to give up an endless supply of free Fonta? Well, she'll need to pay her time here before she can get to the institute. Of course, I've uh, more than my fair share of fault in my time. Awesome. Anyway, so you're teaming up with Porridge again? Uh, oh, are Rave and Darcy competing this time too? Darcy isn't, as far as I know, and Rave, I doubt he'll feel the need to. He did take our coupons after all. Didn't he return them to you after the result was announced? Nope, and I haven't seen him since. It's possible that he's left for good. What? Uh, there are multiple factors that may have contributed to my previous losses, but we can't change the past, and from an efficiency perspective, competing in the pancreation tournament may prove to be the better choice now. Especially with Ignis' help. That will be perfect. For the sake of unlimited Fonta, I'll do it. I'll coach you. Uh, as coach, do I get any compensation besides potential f trophy? No, 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 for Fonta. Uh, so you help, fantastic. Coach Ignus Paimon, let's go find Porat. Uh, what's it? Poirat. 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 I wonder if he has recruited any new teammates. I thought those were one on one. Where to? Why, why don't you go there to meet people for the point creation? Why do I have to run around here? How's it going, Porridge? Will he be joining our team? <laughs> Hard pass. I believe that's a no. As much as I enjoy the detective jokes, from what I've seen of your combat capabilities, you are about as good in a fight as a blubber beast. Joining your team will be like 
the building on stage just before the curtains close. If I had time for that, I don't you think I'd be better off rehearsing for the Tricop on Tropes performance? You make a lot of good points, but I would like to refute one of them. I'm all ears. I may have lost to Rosimov in unarmed combat, but I've changed my fighting style since then. then. Now I can at least draw in a fight with a uh, Strangeshoot Crab. Strangeshoot Crab is competing. Unarmed combat with Rosimov, you? I suppose and that's the Ermite guy. Yes, I realize now that it was a reckless decision on my part, so I decided to avoid unarmed combat from now on. I uh, might add that Inus has agreed to coach us. I'm sure we stand a much greater chance of winning with help from him. The best coach can help a lost cause, but you said you changed your fighting style. Yes, close quarter combat is not my forte, so I've prepared numerous bottles filled with cryo energy. So can you use that? Wouldn't that be cheating? Even people... Oh. Uh, with this, I can slow down my opponents in the arena and also treat them to delicious ice-cold fanta outside the ring to maintain cordial relations. I'm so jealous. Wait, is that how bottles of cryo are supposed to be used? Uh, I'll stick my axe. You have an axe? What? Aren't you a researcher? When did you learn to use an axe? Hang on, I can't fight there because they'll be unfair and stuff, but people use actual deadly weapons in their fights and it's okay. Rest assured that I'm quite handy with an axe. I chop firewood for stress relief when my research hits the wall. Do we have firewood here? So many questions. I won't ask. I have a suggestion. Why don't we have a little sparing session now? That way you can show me your skills and Coach Inus can get a sense of your fighting styles. What do you think? Depending on how your how the sparing goes, I may or may not decide to join your team. It seems like a reasonable suggestion. What do you think for it? Yes, excellent suggestion. If only you come up with it sooner. I think I used up all my mental energy on making the detective jokes. Oh, well, I would say let's get right to the pancreation ring and not waste any more time, but are you sure you're dressed for a sparring match? What do you mean? I always dress like this when I'm chopping firewood. Uh, you should change in something that's easier to move around in. Fortunately, the troop has customs. Give me a minute. Concord gets a set of comfortable clothes for Guinevere. Uh. Okay, now I can see her using an axe. Uh, she's your opponent, so isn't it counterproductive to help her? It's not a fair fight if she's handicapped by her clothes. Thank you, you're very considerate. Whichever way this goes, you have my respect as an opponent. Alright, I can officially say now, let's get it to the pancreation ring and not waste any more time. I'm sure Rusmov won't mind us boring it for a while. Couldn't you guys just teleport me there? Bring items are related to the production. Oh, maybe that's the thing I turned off. Okay, so you're now Rusmov. No, hang on, I don't think I've spoken to you here. Have I? You are a good opponent. How have you been lately? Quite well, apart from the fact that I have nothing to do, I go and spar with Rusimov now and then to stay active. But it's not enough. But you, fighting with you is exciting, especially when I lose. Losing shows me where my weaknesses are. And that means I know how to keep getting stronger. Losing is to win, too. That makes sense, no? Uh, about the fortress. It's annoying that fights are banned outside the arena, and there are hardly any monsters in Hawaii. I need a place to cut loose and put my fist and feet to good use. As for the strongest fighter in the forces of Merpid, I've got a candidate in mind, but he seems very busy and <laughs> I rarely see him. 
and I'm not yet qualified to spar with him. I wonder if I'll get a chance before I leave Fontaine. <laughs> Hang on, it's not here, is it? Ah, oh, it is. I, I don't remember there was an elevator here. Oh, I think I walked inside here once or twice. Uh, so I don't Didn't really pay attention. First mm, off. Uh, we like to use this place to train with Goncourt. Sure thing, no problem at all. Please observe, observe our fight closely, Coach Ings and Paimon. Truth be told, Poret and I lack fighting experience, especially this kind of fighting, so please let us know right away if you have any advice in uh, during the fight. What if I give bad advice? I trust your judgment, as long as it is in fatal mistake, there's always a chance to turn around, right? Now let's warm up and get ready to enter the arena. Uh, Concord can be stronger than a stern shield crap, right? You can do it. Uh, it's a dungeon. Um, that doesn't seem fair. This is rehearsal, you won't go back. Please try and understand. Uh, what am I supposed to do? For a cocktail. They paused. For skill, as a bottle of fuel and crowd energy. Open age of healing. Uh, well, how do I. Ah, I. Maybe a bit chilly. Yeah, but you. You guys are doing good. Ah, but you have time. I never really noticed, but when they toss cryo at me, I get slowed down. I usually just ignore it or or avoid it if I wet but I never notice if it slowed me down got it okay basically just use that as much as I can But I think he could have changed as well. <coughs> Those comes are right clear. That's enough for it. But that wasn't really fair. Two against one. Maybe it could be kind of like those events where I was fighting alongside the mushrooms, the fungi. Not bad, I'm impressed. Uh, it was close, could have gone either way. Not this time. Uh, I've been waiting so long for a chance to say that. Uh, but it was two against one, so based on Concord's pancreation ethics, this probably didn't count as a fair fight. No, no, it absolutely counts. The rules allow it. Plus, I was going easy on you. You're new to this, after all. That was you going easy, really. I need to go all out. What would be the point? I was only testing their skills. Why would I want to risk injuring them? Fair point. Well, anyway, since they impressed you, are you willing to join our team now? 
uh, hard pass. So why? What the? I may have cho chosen to join if you if it was just the two of them, but with Ignis here, I'm somewhat superfluous. Am I really they're awesome? I had no idea. Thanks for the compliment. Oh, please, you're not kidding anyone. Excessive humility is no different from arrogance. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you put on amazing performance with Ignis coaching. As for me, I'll be cheering you on from the audience. You know, and although I won't be fighting alongside you, I'd be happy to provide some support alongside outside the ring. Considering that your fighting styles are a little monotonous, let's get you get it out with some more stuff. And the coach, of course, there's a few things that might come in handy. Our troop is really well equipped and makes me wonder how come our performances are always so par. I hope these things are as good as you're claiming. Oh, don't you worry, they are. Anyway, seeing is believing, let's go to Alvard. He keeps hold of all the stuff I ordered for the troop. Do I have to walk there? No, it's down there. And then I'll probably have to ride the elevator down again. Did I use this one? I didn't. Just as I expected. The props should be around here, they'll be packed in some flimsy wooden boxes. If you find them, go ahead and crack them open. Our crackers are such lady, they're just tailor made, the arena, they're not. Let's back up my weapon, let's give the exorcist and then for this maybe the wheels just take with you. What was the last one? And what the heck's all this? Does your troop really use this in your performances? Using them is optional, but having them is mandatory. That's my motto. I know nothing about performing, so I'll take your word for it. Wait, but this is a fight, not a performance, right? They're both. Yes, but it's still for entertaining purposes. The Pancration Ring can be considered a stage of sorts. I look forward to watching you shine on the stage. With all your preparation so far, I'm sure your first fight will be a breeze. I heard your opponent is a big blue fella. And while he may... He might be a stock guy. I don't think he's a match for you. Uh, Goncourt seems like a better coach than me. Do you need my help with anything? You're too kind. My system has been minimal. I'll leave the hard work to you, Ignis. Coach Ignis, could you ask Rosimov when the match will officially begin? We'll be ready to fight whatever you say the word. I'll watch your fights. If I have time, best of luck in the tournament. Thanks for everything. You're a great guy. Uh, and thanks to Porridge for the detective jokes. I am hoping to work some of them into my scripts. If any of you have any good ideas for a story, do let me know. Sure, I got plenty of stories to share, as long as you get credited and a copyright fee. Uh, perfect, we'll have to talk sometime. Uh, one thing at a time, coach. Come on, let's go see Rosimov. Huh? A new quest? I was just here. Uh, what was that? I just... Oh no, I came from the other side. I didn't. Okay, I'll check on them afterwards. Uh, 
Hannah's Concretion Fight, Navy Researcher in her assistant, Jim Chu, Fresh Fish, Miss Serving at the shopping block of stage. So soon, fast and furious. Yeah, fast to lose, first in defeat. Why are you being so pessimistic? Sounds like holding out those square bottles has cooled his enthusiasm. Uh, so, elemental energy really does have that kind of effect. Of course, the Fountain Research Institute was right after all. Instead of elemental energy, if you're ready, you can start whatever you like. Aren't you going to explain the joke? <laughs> I'm good to go. What joke? Nothing, just forget I said anything. Uh, now then, your first opponent has quite an interesting origin story. He was stuffed in the barrel, and the barrel had a note on it that said, Take a look in the mirror. Obviously, the person who stuffed him in the barrel was is also participating, so if he beats you, you'll be his chance to ad revenge in the ring. After all, finding it's probably that outside the ring, and his only chance to win a fight and not get punished for it. Of course, he will still be entitled to visit the infirmary if that loses. So, are you ready to enter the ring? We're ready. Then please take your positions. Ah! It's just recreation of tournament, still so doesn't mean I want to be Okay, that was like I'm true. <laughs> so I basically just mash those buttons whenever they charge. It's time for a flash free hack. Frozen food. I should, I was broken by lane. Come on, finish him up. Just oh, there the big brute leaving the barrel. Let us applaud. Despite looking like a regular fight, I think that's more supposed to be like a wrestling match. Uh, congratulations to the researcher and research assistant, a first bomb victory for our first time fighters. As for the guy in the barrel, don't be discouraged, we'll see you again in the next competition. And why is she fighting again? Uh, why did she decide to fight? <laughs> Uh, the Rosimov. I'm not a research assistant. Hey, research assistant, very good job. Maybe you should consider it. If nothing else, working at the Fountain Research Institute would be much better job security than working as a detective's ace assistant. Fair enough, I'll give some thought if I ever manage to leave this place. So, how did the two of you team up anyway? You seem like very different personalities and you don't have much common ground professionally either. That's not entirely true. The truth is, I was doing an investigation at the Fontaine Research Institute before I came here. Everything was going fine until I ran into the Melusine. I was just gathering evidence, but she insisted that it was theft. Define gathering evidence. Taking private documents from the Fontaine Research Institute, which would generally be considered a, as constituting theft. Uh, I'll have you know, they were prominently problematic documents. Anyway, I pleaded guilty and accepted my punishment. Sounds like there is an interesting story here. I'm not at liberty to divulge the details of the case, as it would violate client confidentiality. Wow, you are quite professional to have gone to jail for that. 
I'm not familiar with the subject of his investigation. I'm injured. I injured them during a conference. Ma'am, please stop. What did I just say about divulging details? Well, she's not your client. She doesn't have to. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. I, yeah, it's nothing to do with the competition. Anyway, so we shouldn't bore our poor coach with all this. I'd be happy to keep listening for a little extra compensation. I'm very curious about what goes on at the Fountain Research Institute behind closed doors. And you can probably read all about it in the Steambird or some detective novel, though I can't vouch for the credibility in either case. In the Steambird? No? Alright, let's get back to business. Coach, in your professional opinion, what do we need to improve on? Oh, so I choose what you guys will speed. If you attack more, I think it will be better. Uh, yeah, speed helps you dodge enemy attacks and land more strikes in the same amount of time. Um, both Genevieve and Porhead rely on throwing. Faster and more accurate throws will give them more, an advantage. Whether it's a bot of cry or some stage for crackers, right? Sounds good, we shall find some merch practice or throwing techniques. As long as you can find power one serving you one. There's a big empty space near the rift of erosion. I think that should work. Let's head over and check it out. I thought we would go to the next fight. Do we really have to go all around the the fortress? Uh That's the thing at the same level. That sucks. And I still can get past there. Uh, this looks like a great place for practice throwing. Concord gave us a bunch of stuff earlier, some of it should come in handy here. Genevieve and Poirier has set up a practice area. And it's a little jerry rigged, but it should be fit for purpose. Coach, why don't you give us demonstration first? My pleasure. We're counting on you, coach. What am I supposed to do? throw skill oh like in the event Got it? Any questions? I understand it in principle, but shall I demonstrate again? Principles won't help you. You need to practice for yourself. Yep, muscle memory is the key here. And you need hand eye coordination. Speaking of which, Porin has to wear glasses. Will your poor eyesight affect your accuracy? Not if it has glasses on. Oh, these are just a fashion statement. <laughs> They're not prescription lenses. Uh, 
That must be a nuisance, surely. Wearing those in the ring. You just have to treat them as an extension of your body. Besides, if I take them off, no one will recognize me. Don't be silly. Actually, everyone everyone does look alike. Uh, let's not get hung up on spectacles here. Uh, this basic training is this basic training really all we can do? It reminds me of being a detective assistant, revising, revisiting the same crime scene over and over countless times, hoping to find a new shred of evidence. There's no subsistence for hard work in any field. Our coach has personally shown us how it's done. You shouldn't dismiss the value of practice before you've even tried it. Uh, yep, if you don't put in the time, you regret it down the line. Uh, are we here to grumble or or here to win? Put your back into it. How about a sparing match with me instead? Be warned, I don't pull my punches. I'll go practice throwing right away. Uh, it needs to be second nature when we're in the ring. Let's take turns practicing. Uh, while one of us throws, the other will watch and check their accuracy. Alright, let's do that. Uh, great, Coach Inus. Paimon, let's meet again at the arena when the next round begins. Alright, no slacking off, correct? Hmm. You just be here till the next day? Uh, I wonder who our next opponent would be. I wonder what's beyond here. Uh, let me let me check again. Here, oh yeah, that tunnel there. Let me mark that. Yeah, okay, I think that's the interest. Entering standby. Maybe mode. I did enter there before. I, hope I just didn't come all the way here. Uh I'm pretty sure. Oh no. Let's wait till next day. Eight. It's quite boring to go all the way there. Why can we have a, a teleport over there? <laughs> the first few things, the opponents nice and clean, they get lucky or get some secret. How much bother begin? Let's see how much result as they got. Here was Genevieve. She's gonna get changed. She'll be back before the match starts. Your opponent is ready. Let them know when you want to start. That's when Genevieve get back. So you're gonna run. Miss all look out there. As long as I defeat you, I can regain my freedom and live a good life with my brothers again. I don't like getting involved in transactional crime, but make sure to leave a mark. Now it's my own genders, the fight's getting over. Oh. I get frozen. The firm and newcomer took advantage of the ring for functioning to freeze their opponents. 
not like any presentation had much rules anyway so nobody could care that much right now the outside environment the points have eliminated so they don't pressure you how do I do such underhanded schemes against me the environment is also basic for creation it does not even fine beautiful steam you promise defeated yep it's buzzing again yeah Do we have to do mini quests in between each fight? How is it possible? A summer from far losing to a feeble researcher and her assistant. Will the newcomers luck ever run out? Find out the next match. I saw you be leaving big her just now. I thought she was chasing someone. Word follow her out too. Just what's going on? Should we go check out too? Be faster than taking the lift. Hmm, what is that? Uh, I'm warning you. It's a serious crime to fight outside the ring. Do you think I care at this point? You psycho, do you solve all your problems with brute force? No wonder you had to fake the data when you couldn't get the results you wanted. I'm the one who should be warning you. Uh, unless you have evidence to back up your claims, that is Platinum Slender. Oh, you didn't like that? Mm -hmm. Tough cookies. You shouldn't. You should start thinking about how you're gonna apologize to Miss said when you get out of here if you ever get out of here uh, what am i saying i should be thanking you mr Busse had to step down thanks to your academic dishonesty wow that's really bad uh, no way can raymondo handle out the fontaine research institute's projects on his own once i get out of here it never ceases to amaze me how some people can fantasize about such a bright future in this fortress where the sun never shines. A true testament to the power of human imagination. Who are you? And how exactly is this any of your business? Who? Me? As you can probably guess, I'm just a lowly assistant. A nobody, really. We're all contestants here, so let's try and be a little cordial to one other outside the ring, shall we? I have delicious ice <laughs> health drink here. Very sweet. Would you care for a glass? What? Wait, no, I'm not even a contestant. Uh, he didn't fall for it. Unlike some people, I refuse to stoop to using brute force to prove my own value. A fountain research institute lab is too good for you. A lumberjack's cabin in the mountains is where you belong. Can you punch him? How dare you? Private brawls are... Uh, you all saw that too, right? Private brawls are prohibited. Oh goodness, I'm so sorry. I took my glasses off for a second. And my eyesight's terrible without them. I'm afraid I didn't see a thing. It was out of this. I just got here. Did something happen? It's not a brawl, unless you hear her back. <laughs> uh, are you going to fight back? No one's stopping you. But I hear it's a serious crime to fight outside of me. Uh, you self-righteous canine, uh, I'll wipe those smug looks off each of your faces. Just wait, my the villa, villa, view, view. I guess it view model enhanced mecha will prove everything. The main leaves, so he'll have a mecha fighting. What was that all about? I'm sorry I had to see that. I, I'm i sorry I didn't see that. Because you guys don't have punch animation. Uh, I have a bit of short fuse. I always try my best to stay rational, objective and neutral in scenarios, all scenarios. But sometimes I fail to control myself. A short fuse, no excuse for assault. Talk smack, get whacked, he had it coming. 
Uh, yeah, he clearly knew which buttons to press. Still, you shouldn't let people provoke you. Valence is really the answer. And still, we are always muttering and saying here the truth. Uh, you're right, I'm sorry, I'll try to do better. Anyway, who is who was he? Champ Vallon. He's a senior researcher at the Institute for the Fountain Research Institute. He's always had a rivalry with Raimondo, but I guess he thinks he might be in with a chance since posted as falling from power. Uh, but it doesn't look like Raimondo has any intention of giving him the chance. It's a shame, really. If he was Raimondo's equal, the Steam Bird would have to give me my own column space. Why? Also, how do you know about all this? It's kind of suspicious. Because when I was caught at, uh, when I was collecting evidence at the Fountain Research Institute, he was the main target of my investigation. All those problematic documents I mentioned were linked to him. I've actually met him a few times before, but he didn't seem to recognize me at all just now. Uh, is it because of the glasses? You didn't use them before, maybe? Wait a second, now you're divulging the, the details of the case, what happened to the client confidentiality and professional ethics? The fact that he's here in the Fortress of Merope means the case is clearly over, Plus, I sent my uncle a letter recently to see if I could find anything out, and all he sent in reply was be patient. I knew something weird was going on. I guess he couldn't be bothered to help me since he knew what was about to happen. Oof. I to think I spent years running errands for him and even let him put me as a supporting character in his novel. I'm not surprised to see him here at all. He's never had any good reputation in the Fontaine Research Institute. Lots of negative rumors flying around about him. Guess they're all groundless. Oh, I know I was sent here for injuring him at a conference. And of course for other reasons too. But I swear the part about his bad reputation is public knowledge. If you don't believe me, ask anyone else from the Fontaine Research Institute. That won't be necessary. Yeah, anyway, Pamela's more concerned about that stuff he said before leaving. Isn't he not participating in the competition? And even if he was, it's all about the entertainment value, right? So why did it sound like he's plotting something nefarious? Knowing how he operates, I guess he intends to take his opportunity to show what he's capable of and impress the powerful people in the fortress. Yeah. Well, having met some engineers from the Fontaine Research Institute before, like clients, Paimon gotta ask, uh, what makes this Champvalion guy so special? Uh, professionally, he doesn't have any noteworthy compliments, accomplishments. But he's quite skilled at networking and playing people to his advantage. Although, surely he wouldn't. What's the worst he can throw at us? Twelve engineers, all built like two Rosmoths. No, you moron. It's worse than that. Didn't you hear what he said? The Bill model enhanced mecha? Sounds like he's gonna send clockwork mecha into the ring to fight us on his behalf. And not our typical guard max mass product that in the fortress either, some modified variety with enhanced combat capabilities. That's crazy. Clockwork and mecha aren't even human, how are they allowed in the Pancreation tournament? Since it's just for entertainment, there are no rules saying that participants have to be human. As a matter of fact, someone once captured a stern shield crab from the abandoned production zone and sent that in the in as their fighter. So you really did draw in a, a fight, huh? It sounds pretty far-fetched, but on the off chance he really does send Mecha into the ring, what are you gonna do? Surrender? <laughs> I know I'd be letting down our coach, but there's no way I could win a fight with this amount of training. I know my limits. Don't give up. Anything I can do, you can do. There's no shame surrendering. Don't give up. And let's get real. A few encouraging words aren't gonna magically close the gap between you and them. 
I think we might we just might have a shot, you know. If we can utilize the mutually destructive effects of Neoma and Oja energy to weaken the clockwork mecha, winning wouldn't be beyond the realm of possibility. I have an idea, but this isn't the place to discuss it. Let's find somewhere in the production zone. It's better lit. It's amazing how people don't just find ways to escape here and throw riots and stuff having so much freedom inside this prison <laughs> ah there's one there Okay, Genevieve, so what's your idea? So, oh, I never noticed those things here. So, as I was saying, we need to utilize the mutually destructive effects of Neoma and Ozia energy to weaken the clockwork mecha and create opportunities to attack. This is far beyond the scope of my abilities. I bid you all adieu. Uh, don't go. I can't accomplish this without you. With some processing, Neomosia can be stored in a container, even in your sh sugar glass bottles. I'm familiar with the structural weaknesses of Clockwork Mecha, so if you create an opening, I can go in and attack. Oh, that might actually work. Emperor has been practicing his throwing, so hopefully his speed and accuracy should have improved by now. And I don't know anything about the principle of mutual annihilation between Neoma and Ozia. Honestly, me neither. If you put your mind into it, I'm sure you'll get it. I mean, I know, but I never use that in battle, actually. Uh, this isn't a research project, so I don't need to grapple with the theory. All you need to know is which action causes what, what reaction. First things first, help me set up a practice arena. Alright, set up practice arena. Uh, are these from the stage props Goncourt gave us too? What kind of show would need props like this? Why does it buy all this stuff? No. Uh, maybe an educational play about the Fountain Research Institute to teach people about Neomosia or something. The arena is ready. Now for the demonstration on the Neomosia mutual annihilation phenomenon. Uh, over to you, Coach Inus. Got it. Uh, you only need to run through it once. After that, I'll supervise Porat training until he knows exactly what he's doing. Is it that necessary? How hard can it be? We're giving up. Uh, that depends on how quickly you can pick it up. So, did I help? Thanks, for it. It have been much bigger help if you did not. <laughs> thanks. Uh, is that a genuine thanks? Or, gee, thanks. Anyway, let's meet at the Pancration Ring before next match. Like last time. Alright, don't die on us, Uh You need to live on. Oh, don't be so dramatic. The stage props are getting you, getting to your head. But sure, I'll try to avoid getting annihilated along the... Along with the no, no mind O's here. Uh, I know we can win this. Okay, let's get back up there. Ah, I actually need to change the time. Mm. Yeah, this one's taking a bit longer than I thought it would. Okay, now. <laughs> Oh, 
powerful Darkwing Geese team to be important about your arrival with Glory Station Pink. Should bring better fight, the most standing ring as a star in this competition, rather potential compared to the championship. <laughs> Choosing here again. Mm. Hey Porad, how did the training go? Did it work? Uh, yep, uh, I'm now fully versed in the mutually destructive properties of Neoma and Ozia energy. Great, then why don't you summarize this for me? Congratulations, maybe a job as a research assistant really is in the cards for you. Uh, sorry, I was just joking. I still don't really get how it works, but I know what I have to do. Good, because you'll be facing a heavyweight this time. Well, ready to enter the arena? I'm ready. Don't forget to give us your input during the match. Then let's begin. It's still gonna... Let's begin. Constant contestants and coaches, please take your positions. But does each of them have a different one now? Or I just keep pressing his skill? Uh, finals will to begin. Research and this is carnival. I guess I just press everything. Yeah, they're doing great. The common is breaking down. Range combat is vintage to me. So why are you so close to it? Trying to make an cooperation slowly winding down. Yeah, I thought maybe it would change. And sometimes I need to use Neoma, sometimes I need to use Ogier, and I'm not sure which is which. But no, it was just the same thing. He didn't even have to practice. They just they should give him a different type of grenade for him to use. What an accelerating match! Congratulations to the researcher and her assistant. Uh, and of course to their coach, Ignis. But I have some breaking news. Don't get too comfortable because this match is entering overtime. Your spectacular performance really put me in the mood for a brawl, so allow me to be your opponent during the overtime match. Let's go. Okay, I think this is the final one now. But I thought we'll fight the Aramite. Oh, you guys are tired. I was small, but also great lover of combat sports. Constantly holding the purest, blah blah blah. And he's screaming already. Hot, hot, hot. I'm like, correct you. The temperature, I don't know. Amazing, no wonder could win the championship long ago. Every time he's marsh, shouldn't murder. That's better us. You're exposed. Yeah, it's just smashing buttons. No strategy at all. House is about to over the middle strain. Drag me geese. Team is blah blah blah. There could be some strategy to it. Accept my defeat. Looks I really can be deceiving. Huh. You never said anything about an overtime match. I'm about to pass out. No entertainment driven tournament will be complete without a few exciting plot twists. Same applies to using fire firecrackers on the ring or sweet scented sugar glass bottles. Ah, he's using Fanta bottles. Uh, without further ado, I ready to receive a prize. The Fanta trophy. Feels like we're forgetting something. A limited Fanta. Now, where did Champ Fallon go? Oh, good point. We don't care about him, we just defeated him. Those mech were his pride and joy, and we tore them to shreds. Would you stick around to be humiliated further? He's probably hiding a way to escape the shame. I doubt it. Like I said, they were his pride and joy. I don't think he's going to take this lane now. You got nothing to worry about. You're the champions, and you even defeated me. You can handle whatever else he might throw at you. 
uh, be that as it may, fighting two matches back to back has completely exhausted me. I need to sit down or I'm going to faint. Uh, right now he could throw a newborn puppy at me and I'll probably lose the fight. Valon returns and he brought some friends. My villain model enhanced mecha. You destroy my villain model enhanced mecha. This army isn't over yet. Leave him to me. I've still got some fight in me. He's inside the pancreation ring. So we can punch him up now, right? Uh, don't force yourselves. I guess my time is shine. Yeah, let coach Ino show you how it's done. Gather! <laughs> Can't see? Silence! <laughs> the tides beckon. Enough, no more. Please stop. Uh, is he in the scene? Because. Uh, already? I'm still warming up here. Uh, have time break? Sure. Come on. Vanish. Is he here? Yeah. You want a second half? You're completely mad. All of you. No more messing with crazy. I'm done. Uh, I should have known after last time what a spectacular failure this was. I'm meeting defeat and I'm leaving. Not without me, you're not. Let's find somewhere to discuss reimbursement for my losses. What losses? You just took. Just look at the mess you made on my precious pancreation ring. Uh, but first, uh, it gives me great pleasure to present the champions with the grand prize. Be proud of yourselves, you've earned it. A small vein champ leave. Uh, leave. That was pretty underwhelming in the end. I uh, feel like all the preparation was a lot of effort for nothing. But it was worth to see in the ring. So cool. Hmm. Uh, I hope you were taking notes. I don't know about cool. Uh, I think this learning opportunity is a little waste. <laughs> a little waste on me. We promised the trophy to Coach Ignis and Paimon, as for the credit coupons, I feel bad you went above and beyond by taking the, f the last fight, so we should really increase your compensation, but we really need th those coupons. We can do a little extra, but not as much as you deserve. Ah yes, they're running low coupons after Rave. Uh, anyway, it's fine, we'll stick to the amount originally agreed, right Ignis? Uh, it's not. Uh, I'm not in this to bleed anyone dry. Try me. Yeah, not in this to bleed anyone dry. Thank you so much, Coach Inus and Paimon. So, what are your plans now that you've won the tournament and gotten a big stash of coupons? Mm, all I can think about is life after the fortress of Mirror Pit. Although it's true that they have no evidence to prove I committed academic dishonesty. The fact is, the fact is, I also haven't been able to reproduce the results from the disputed experiment. I'll just have to keep going with my research and find a way to prove myself. This place isn't bad, but the world beyond the fortress suits me better. Clients are hard to come by down here. There, are, there's practically zero work for detective. We did a bunch of investigation. Every main quest here was basically investigation. But then again, even in the rest of Fontaine, the detective industry is just too competitive. Uh, maybe I should think about expanding outside Fontaine. Will he coach you in Azuma? Coach Ignus, you're a traveler, right? Maybe we'll run to each other somewhere else one day. Sounds like you have great plans, but I hope you achieve all your goals. I hope I'll have at least graduated from being a supporting character in my uncle's novels when the time when we next meet. And thank you and good luck to you too. Ah. Truth award for taking part in the Pancreation Recreation Tournament as a coach. And guiding to the Pride Victory Championship, maybe from classic looking metal. Under the right lightning, it gleams like shining Mora. 
special trophy, you can get unlimited refills of refreshing font and design designing machines, drink into your heart's content and become the most satisfying enjoyer of fine drinks in the world. Okay, I know where there's one of those. Mm, yeah, it's been a while, so I I won't do any more quests today. Uh, but let's check here. Is that it? Refreshing fountain. Open creation. Ah, the container. Ah, okay. No, nice, nice. I don't get a new font every time. Uh, oh. Uh, if you completely font, even if you're being sat down, a bubbling sound can be heard. A bit like the sound of hot oil and juices in a pot of meat, making anyone who hears it hanker for food. However, the size of the trophy uh, is in a category of all its own, and few could swallow the contents in a single sweep. Even if you force yourself to to manage the feat, you'll probably blow it up like a blubber beast and might even end up hospitalized. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> water comes in many flavors what to the discerning the castle. Mondstadt's water is crisp. And then we can drink. And it becomes a new, new item. No, 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 I don't want to you. I'm thirsty. Trust and found this bottle with fresh in fresh fountain. Okay. And this doesn't fill them up. Okay, it's not practical to come all the way here to get free fountain, but that's cool. Uh and I really I don't really know what fountain does. Uh fonta. Fresh font was drink to create fountain. Well, it doesn't really tell me what the others tell me how m how many points they're gonna. Yeah, this is the only thing that doesn't tell me, but this is like one point of life. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I would need to use are some beautiful creatures. As somebody they are hurt. The be sure to be friendly. Cause them no harm. <clears throat> so, uh, regular Fonta. Ah, it doesn't do anything. It actually makes sense. <laughs> and sparkling but doesn't really do anything makes sense nice let's try to get on Rusty no all right uh, uh, it was complete coupon of your satisfaction non zero sum game Slam bang, no holds, bear, mirror style pancreation. Guide for achieve to victory in the recreation of pancreation tournament. And the final font, let's see. A font for refreshment. I think there may be another one around here. Oh. Alright. So I'm out.